What's going on Pisces? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is your reading for June 24th to the 30th, 2024. So in this reading Pisces, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the last week of June. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming. We're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for you and so much more regarding the last week of June 2024. So before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading. And I really do appreciate you, Pisces, in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this reading does resonate with you, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here, Pisces. And so without further ado, I'm now going to pull the energy for you and we'll see what's coming your way for the last week of June 2024. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Pisces. Wow. Pisces, really interesting energy that you got going on here for sure. You know, it looks like something is being brought into balance in your life that at first may feel like you're taking a step back or it may feel like it's going to cause more anxiety for you to for you to face the truth about something in your life to balance out your mind. Um, you know, there could be something here about you getting to the source of an issue in your life. I feel like for many of you, it does have to do with a specific person that may be like pulling strings behind the scenes or something that you may be made aware of. And, um, you know, there's definitely something about slow moving energy and people coming in to help you resolve the situation, no matter what it is. So before we get into the tarot Pisces, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre shuffled Oracle cards from the universe. And these Oracle cards contain the energy that you need more of that you need to be embodying for your own highest good for the last week of June. And the first one is never appear too perfect. You know, sometimes maybe you have a new project, you have something new that you want to do. And sometimes when you try to appear everything's so perfect and you're not vulnerable or you're like, you're trying to create force and outcome, it kind of puts people in defense. And so never appear too perfect. Don't be afraid to just say like, here, this is me. This is what I have and let the chips fall where they may. You know, some of the best artists, like I always say on planet earth, they have this attitude of like, I just threw up and it's beautiful and everyone's like it's beautiful and those people who are like i've studied astrology for the last 20 years at phd university now here's your reading you're like well the reading wasn't that good after that introduction brother <laughs> so they so so maybe you just there, there's something about if you try to appear too perfect to other people it's gonna like make them be like yeah pisces you have the right information this is great but Why'd you have to do it like that, Pisces? And so maybe it's just like be yourself, never, never, never appear too perfect because we all have flaws, we all have insecurities, and it's never really um, pretty to encounter those people who try to deny that, you know. And maybe people get the wrong idea about me on this channel. I know I'm, uh, you see, crazy people don't think they're crazy. I know I'm crazy, therefore I'm not crazy. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so that's kind of like the energy you need more of. Now you also have when you try hard, that's when you die hard. So this is about making your accomplishments seem effortless and very natural. You know, like I said, this is very much this is very much a energy. Maybe this has to do with us us shifting into the age of Aquarius where the power is with the people instead of certifications. Now I'm not saying that that's certifications are great to expand the uh, the higher mind. I mean, I'm actually thinking about getting my PhD. 
uh, as I go through my life just to expand the higher mind, not for qualifications, right? But it's there is this energy of um, when, you, when you try hard, that's when you die hard. You know, when you... Um, you display all your cred credentials and uh, your golden stars. It just kind of makes people like, what? You know what I mean? So there, there's definitely something here about um, being natural. Moo, act natural. Okay. Um, and, you know, there's something about making your accomplishments seem effortless. You know, no one wants to hear about, I mean, some people do, like all the hard work that goes into things, but especially as a Pisces, I mean, that's like the opposite of Virgo. Virgo is like, look at all the hard work that I put in and here it is. And people are like, wow, now this is an oversimplification. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're a Pisces with heavy Virgo energy, maybe there's a little bit of a conundrum. But at the same time, I feel like there's something going on here this week where you're going to be like, I'm the best thing since sliced bread because of this and that and I have this degree and I have that and that's why I'm right and people are going to be like nah okay so just be aware of that now you have strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter and so this is this talks about getting to the the root of a problem but especially in a relational sense um this is about getting to the captain you know let me talk to the manager I want to talk to the manager please you know, you're, you're at a fast food, you know, you're at a restaurant, you're at a beautiful restaurant and the server or someone's giving you a hard time. Instead of just taking that at face value and allowing the server, whoever's giving you a hard time to manipulate you, this is an analogy for your personal relationships, by the way, or some sort of career thing or whatever. You need to talk to the manager. Look, the autistic mystic, he's available today. He's available for Brooklyn. Let's set this up, okay? Uh, <laughs> and, but, but, but like, for you, sh strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. You may be trying to go at people who are merely pawns. You may be, you know, it's the manager. It, it's the server. Now, you, let me talk to the manager. Matter of fact, let me talk to the owner. Uh, let me back. Let me talk to the founder because the D students donate the buildings. And that's an analogy for you blasting your credentials as an educated uh, muggle. So, uh, I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Um... Now, before we get into the tarot, I have a very exciting announcement, Pisces, that I am now partnered with the Astra app. And this is a lifestyle application that you can find in the App Store. And it's something that will help you follow along these readings, particularly with tarot. It, it gives you the definitions for the tarot cards that you pull. And it's, it's a very phenomenal app. And I've been very hesitant to partner with any sort of application that involves tarot or astrology because you know me. I like the organic thing, but I have found that this application is in fact organic and it is something that's going to help you follow along with these readings. It gives relational advice, romantic and friendship compatibility with astrology. It gives you daily horoscope advice and it's something that contains so much more than I could say and there's a reason that I partnered with them. There's a big reason why I partnered with them and hopefully you do too. So download the Astra app today and you won't regret it. It will help you follow along with these readings as well. So with that being said, let's go. Your opportunity is the hermit, and the hermit is someone who goes within for answers. They don't go outside of themselves, and this is also a card of deep, deep contemplation. So maybe this is rethinking certain things in your life about appearing perfect, and maybe some of the things that you've been trying to fight against have actually been your blessings, is what I feel for some of you. Maybe you've been trying to figure something out, and you've been, you've been striking the sheep. You got to go to the shepherd. Do you know who the shepherd is? Maybe you don't. Maybe you need to go in to, to find that in whatever analogy way that that makes sense. So the hermit is about going within for answers. There may be, you know, you taking time out for yourself to process anything that's going on in your life right now. And for a lot of you, this is definitely going to have to do with relationships, soulmates, twin flames, etc. Because your challenge is the two of cups and you also have the judgment card attached to it. So this is about the ability to discern well between people and... This is definitely something here, Pisces, that, you know, if you have to, it, this is definitely a message that I'm getting for a lot of you. If you have to button up your tie, and nothing wrong with that, you look fresh in that tie. Let me just say that. You look fresh in that tie. I'm, I'm moving towards that as well. Right. But what I'm saying to all of you is that if you are in a relationship with someone where you have to lead with a false front, that's always going to be a foundation built on sand instead of rock. And I feel like there is an energy about you leading with the true you and letting the chips fall where they may. Now, there is something about discerning 
who you can trust and who you can't trust in relationships because there's definitely a slow rebuild happening in your life here. For some of you, um, there's going to be a relational hiccup that you actually move through and you actually move through a difficult situation with someone that you are going to keep in your life is what I feel. But your challenge is the two of cups and your opportunity is to her the hermit. So this is definitely this week is about thinking very deeply about your relationships and keeping in mind strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. What this can look like, Pisces, is that for some of you here, I do sense that an energy of someone that you love deeply has been mind mixed and it's very hard for you to deal with that. I feel that there's an energy around you about someone or even many people who you care deeply about or you did care deeply about who you understand now or the opportunity is for you to understand that this person isn't against you. There is a force that is manipulating it could be the culture scape, it could be the matrix, it could be a uh, wizard, dark wizard, whatever it is. There's someone who has gotten in the head of someone around you that don't make the person your enemy, make the thing that is confusing them your enemy. Okay? That's really what I feel. Now, it gets confusing here because um, your overall general energy is the world in reverse, the justice card upright, and the nine of swords upright. So the world in reverse is you might have thought that you were ending a cycle, but there may be a cycle coming to an end that doesn't feel good. There also may be a cycle coming, there, there, there's a cycle coming to an end that may feel like a letdown or a loss, okay? And I wouldn't try to fight this because everything happens in divine order, not even a leaf falls from a tree without the universe's permission. So it's like, let's say you, you try to launch something that you thought was gonna really work out and it doesn't. Don't lose heart. You, you know, there's something about the world in reverse is that you may be, you may be on the verge of repeating a cycle, Pisces, is what I feel. And so that's why the hermit here in your opportunity is to really think deeply about what's going on and why things are being balanced out. Because the justice card has to do with law and order, it has to do with karma, and it has to do with the balance of the realm of thought. It has to do with something being put right. And I feel like if you jump to conclusions and you try to appear perfect and you try to try really hard, it's going to make people be like, what? So maybe there's a different approach that you're being called to take that may be slow, but slow is smooth, but smooth is fast. You know, they say like easy decisions lead to a hard life. Hard decisions lead to an easy life. So there is some sort of hard decision that is coming your way that may make you rethink the information that you've been gathering or your approach. It may not even be that you have false information. It may be your approach to the situation is all that needs to be tweaked. Because there is going to be something that be, is brought into balance that may initially give you anxiety. You know, let's say, for example, you had like a grandparent that, that passed away. You know, that passing is the balance of thought, okay, they're gone, their consciousness is transitioned, but you know, in the days that come after that, there may be these feelings of why did they die? Did they die too soon? Could I have done something to help them? What's really going on? So there's something that, that is brought into balance that gives you anxiety as the energy reads right now. And your opportunity is to really go in and say, well, why is this giving me anxiety? Because sometimes the, the, the quote-unquote worst things that happen to you in this life from a higher level are actually the best things. And I'm not saying for you to alienate your human side and the, the pain and whatever is that's going on here, but I'm saying that the, the best days of your life have not happened yet. If you're, if, you're, if you're listening to me and you're a vibrational match to hearing this message, literally the best days of your life have not even happened yet. So what are you tripping about? Download the style and figure it out like you always do. Because um, no matter what peop what position people try to put you in, you're always going to come out on top, Pisces. <laughs> and so uh, let's let's keep going. Your, um, in what you don't see coming, you have the Ten of Wands, you have the Four of Swords, and you have the Six of Pentacles. There is a burden that is finally being released in your life. The number 10 has to do with endings here, and it's right below the world in reverse. So there's a burden being lifted on your back. It will give you peace. You will be able to get rest, and that's what you need, right? In your, op in your uh, advice, you have the temperance card, which is about moderation 
you know, I feel like there's something that you're really gearing up here for where moderation is the answer. The downloads will give you, there's a lot of peace and healing and restoration and rejuvenation coming into your life. So you can rise, but allow yourself to rest. Okay. And you also have the six of pentacles here, which is about even give and exchange, giving and receiving. And I, I do feel like this is a sense of positive karma, but you know, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. And that's kind of what this reading is giving. Okay, and it's not to beat yourself up. It's not to, to, to get mad at whoever created this issue in your life. Realize that everything happens for a reason and that everything is going to work out for you, no matter what it looks like this week. Okay, that's really what I feel here. Um, no matter what happens, you have to trust is what I feel. Maybe not trust people, especially the managers and the surface level people. Go to the root of the source. You're... you're girlfriend is freaking out on you well there's a demon in her bro it's not the girl it's the demon inside of her or in you <laughs> all right now let's get your advice is the three of pentacles the temperance card and the knight of pentacles this is about teamwork moderation balance and slow moving methodical energy and so whatever is causing you concern I don't think that this is going to be resolved overnight. I don't think this is going to be resolved by the end of the June. I think this is something that's going to make you rethink your own emotional process. You're going to have to balance out your emotions. You're going to have to have people around you that really want to see you win. The universe always sends someone. And then you're going to have to move slowly. And that's the fun, you know? You, you, know what I, you know what I think is the best part of this reading, Pisces? No matter what, even if it's a small glitch, for some of you it's a big glitch. For some of you it's a big bitch. Um, you, you know, when you make it to the top of the mountain, I feel like many of you were like convinced of that, that like, this is my, um, this is my memoir or like, this is going to be my life's work right now. It's like, no, that doesn't make you happy when you've already reached the top of the mountain. Some of you have reached the top of the mountain and now it's time for you to climb a new mountain. And instead of getting upset about that, instead of feeling like I, cause for some of you, you will feel like a lot of the stuff that you've done has been in vain. I'm just getting that now, Pike. Like, there is something that when the truth comes out, you are going to feel like a lot of the things that you've been working on were somehow doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. But nothing else matters but, but, but then what's in front of you. Because if you focus on the past, even if you focused on a win, even if you focus on all the time that you've put into something, no, nothing is ever wasted. Many of you will have the sensation that a relationship that you poured energy into was wasted. A project, a financial thing, a business thing, your whole life's work. This was all a waste of time. It wasn't a waste of time because it was the training that you're going to now utilize in the new earth frequency as we move into it. As we move into the age of Aquarius, all of the things that you did have value, but you must place value on it yourself or else it doesn't have value. Because the gift that God has given to all of us is that everything in this reality is neutral. Nothing has built-in meaning besides the meaning that you give it. And this, the, the energy that I get from this reading is that it might be very easy for you if you think that you have no flaws. If you think that you're going to try hard and fix this all yourself. No. This is a humanity teamwork. There are people on your side you didn't even know was on your side. There are people against you that you didn't even know was against you. So, trust and know that um, you are blessed, but you have to affirm that. You have to have gratitude, you have to have neutrality, and you have to have trust this week. That will get you there. Not f fighting with the manager, okay? When it's not, or not fighting with the employee, when, and you think it's the manager, meanwhile, it's the electricity company that literally owns the business and you're fighting battles that are, what are you doing? Okay, now, not all of you, right? But let's just go ahead and get into this reading. Let's see why the world in reverse is your, uh, your opportunity. Why is the world card in reverse your opportunity? You have the chariot in reverse. Okay, you have the ace of swords and you have the four of pentacles here. The chariot in reverse, you know, this is something where you may be using the idea of divine protection in a way that comes back to haunt you in some sort of way. The world in reverse, um, clarifying the chariot in reverse, may be like, I'm going to have this upgrade no matter what because I'm in my reality and I'm not connected to the collective in whatever way and it doesn't matter. You know, you have the four of pentacles and you also have the ace of swords. This is a sword of truth and this is about being a little bit 
always say less than necessary. Keep your cards to yourself. So once again, for those of you that are going to step up to the podium and be like, here it is. You know, the, something is going on that is going to require a new spiritual version of you that you didn't even know. Now, I do sense as well, Pisces, and for many of you chosen ones out there, this is the real meaning. And it can be a mix of both to a certain degree. But what I also sense is that there may have been people who have tried to hurt you. There have may, there maybe have I, I feel like there are people or there are forces that have been trying to take advantage of you, but they didn't realize how divinely protected you were. And for those watching this right now that are on the blessed timeline, you're a chosen one, you wouldn't even hurt a fly. Okay? Then even if it's a matrix fly with technology, you think it's a fly, it's a spy fly. Okay? Ha <laughs> no, stupid. Um what I'm saying is that anyone who tries to open up a dark portal on the anointed will be faced with a portal of light that they didn't even know that they were creating. And it, that portal of light may not look in alignment with your mind's plan, but that portal of light is created and the truth will come out nevertheless. So I feel that many people who have tried to create a dark portal of weird energy you know, people who are not who they say they are, weak minds who prey on others who are energy vampires, Pisces, then I feel like they tried to open up a dark portal on you, but it actually backfired on them. That's what this reading is about. This reading is about backfire. Backfire. So that's why when the backfire occurs, it may feel like things are falling apart, but I promise you they're not. But you have to remain neutral because we are literally living in the apocalypse. Now, let's also clarify why the Two of Cups is in your challenge. You have the Page of Swords. You have the Three of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Moon in reverse. So yeah, this is this could have to do with a third party situation, a group of people who didn't want you to shine. The Moon in reverse has to do with illusions and really deception and like reversing the light you know the moon only reflects the light of the sun and then you have the page of swords is about getting more information so i do feel like you know strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter your challenge is to get information on a situation regarding people but sometimes we have soul contracts with people who are actually our worst enemies who actually lead us to the light without them knowing that they did it like there's been a lot of people in my past that have treated me horribly and who have went out of their way to manipulate me and to mind mix me. And because of those dark portals that they opened up, maybe they didn't even know it was a dark portal, maybe they're just acting out their own childhood trauma, I forgive you no matter what. But many people who have tried to um, destroy me throughout life because they didn't like my natural light without trying hard, without appearing perfect, I'm just me, it's my light, hi. Um, they created the worst experiences that I could have ever imagined, but that's why I'm here today. That's why you are listening to me today. That's why I'm in this seat. And that's why you're going to be in this seat. That's why you're going to be listened to. That's why you're going to be respected. Because anything that people try to do to you, Pisces, will backfire. I promise you. I promise you. But it may not be comfortable. So with that being said, you're going to have to build slowly do your best to take care of yourself. Don't get caught up in the anxiety and realize that whatever gets taken away from you will always be brought back to you in a different form. 